Hi there, welcome to module five. My name is Martina and I'll be explaining module three, four and five of this tutorial. So for module five, we assume the following. We assume that you have already a Jupyter book in module three, and we assume that you already know how to modify its appearance and behavior using a configuration file as shown in module four. So by the end of module four, you should have a Jupyter book that looks like this. So what will you learn in module five? In module five, we will show you how to add Jupyter notebooks to your Jupyter book. We'll show you how to make these Jupyter notebooks interactive by using tools like Binder. And we'll also show you how, Ju how Jupyter book supports a special flavor of markdown called Mist Markdown. So a Jupyter notebook can be added to, a, to your Jupyter book the same way you add any markdown file. Jupyter book will take care of executing and, render and displaying the outputs of your Jupyter notebook. So for example, this is how a Jupyter book displays a common NumPy array. This is how Jupyter book displays a more complex data structure like a pandas data frame. And this is how Jupyter book displays a matplotlib plot. So in this tutorial, we'll show you some common problems that people come across when adding a Jupyter notebook to their Jupyter book. We will also show you how to configure how and when notebooks get executed by Jupyter book. Jupyter notebooks can also be made interactive with tools such as Binder or Google Colab that appear in your Jupyter book using that specified button that you can see here. So the important part is that in order for these tools to work, you will need a GitHub repository that hosts the Jupyter notebook that you want to see um, be made interactive. And you also in this GitHub repository specify a requirements file that lets Binder know which packages you want to install in order for your Jupyter notebook to be executed correctly. But Jupyter notebooks and common markdown files are not the only type of files that Jupyter books support. Actually, Jupyter book also supports a markdown, a special flavor of markdown called markedly structured test text or MIST for short. So MIST is a language that both supports common markdown specifications that you're probably familiar with if you use GitHub, and also features that are similar to those of RST files that are used by Sphinx to build HTML files. So an example of these features are roles and directives that you will see in more detail in our tutorial. For example, a node is a, a specific role that can be added. But be sure to check out MIST official documentation to get a full details on the features that you can add to your Jupyter book. The important part is that MIST makes Jupyter book much more customizable and powerful. The, our tutorial, of course, is limited in time and we cannot fully explain all the amazing features that Jupyter book has. So we will strongly encourage you to head over to its, the official documentation and see in a proper way all the capabilities that Jupyter book has. So you can now even vote for the features that you want to see added in Jupyter book. So head over there. And this is the end of module five. See you in module six that will be explained by Sarah Gibson.